are here in London's Leicester Square for the premiere of Miss You Already, a film that focuses on the strong, lifelong female friendship between Drew Barrymore and Tony Collette, where we got a chance to grab a chat with the stars and director of the film. It's about two friends um, and, and something very, very challenging happens actually to both of those friends, to one of the friends in particular, um, and they're both going through their own, their own traumas and it's about what that does to the friendship and what that does to not just their friendship but the family, the partners, the parents, the children. It's, a, it's, a, it's, an, it's, a, it's something that un, unfortunately many people I think have experienced and gone through is a sort of trauma in a family and uh, it's about that. When I read the script, you know, I was like, wow, everybody in their life has somebody that gets sick from cancer or something. I had my dad that got sick and then he kept making jokes the whole time so I love that Marina she's very funny that the writer just kept people like kept the lightness there like if one friend is down the other one would make a joke and lift her back up which is kind of what best friends are for I've always been an uber Tony Collette fan so it was amazing and she wrote me a letter to come do this and I was like oh I just had my second baby this is the worst timing ever and then I read it and I was like okay, I, I can see what a celebration, what an honest portrayal, what a tonally truthful, amazing, unmovieish BS <laughs> approach this is to lifelong female friendship. And it encompasses life, love, you know, birth, death, loss, everything, and it does it in such a beautiful, realistic, grounded way. And I get to play this kind of wild child maniac um, who's a complete narcissist and very much fun, but also spiky and a bit of a nightmare. Um, I just think this story is incredibly unique and special, and I am so proud and lucky to be a part of it. That was the most important thing, because even at the worst moments, the girls are able to make each other laugh which is what I thought was really cool that you know and that's what we want in life like even if we are feeling bad somebody needs to kind of lift us up. It was so much fun every single day and um, it's funny it's you know you can't determine what the chemistry is going to be like between any actor but it was instantly just very easy and the more time we spent together the better and better it got and I think you can feel you can feel the energy of it in the movie which is wonderful because that, that's what it's about this this connection, you know, people who just get each other and love each other and support each other. I really hope an audience will will like it and find it uplifting and take away the message that, you know, look after your friends. You know, don't 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 hang about. If you've just had a row, phone them up. Say sorry. Say I love you. Well, one of the most fun things for me is like I've, I've seen two friends walk out and they go, oh my God, they just started telling me all the stories of the crazy things they did, the crazy road trips they did, reminiscing, and then other other people like, I'm calling my best friend now. And a guy told me, you know, I'm calling my, my mate and we've got to bury the hatch.